Yeah, I would just record it at that depth right there. That's, that's right. <laughs> Hi. Um, the, the, uh, my name is Kurt Brown. I'm with the Standard Times. Could you introduce yourself? I'm Rebecca Kimball. And? And I'm Derek Kimball. And this who is our daughter, Kennedy Kimball. Kennedy Kimball. Uh, and how old is she? She is almost five months old, 147 days old. Uh, and uh, am I correct? This is her first day home? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, and how many... Um, how old, how many weeks was she premature when she was born? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how, is this her first time home? Yes. Since her birth, yes. Yeah. Since her, well, it's her, technically her first time home. <laughs> yeah. The birth does not really count. <laughs> how do you feel, if you could answer the question individually? I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy. Nothing beats this moment. This is perfect. <laughs> and Derek? It's amazing. And we, I finally feel complete now that we have our family back complete together. Yeah. It's, it's truly amazing and God is wonderful. It really is. This has been extremely difficult for the, for the two of you and for your two other children. Yes, it has. It's been a roller coaster of emotions and from, you know, her getting sick to getting worse, to getting mm -hmm. calls at 2 a.m. telling us we didn't, they didn't think she was going to make it through the night. They're not giving as much attention to her. Yeah, yeah, I felt like every time I went with one, I had to abandon my other child or mm -hmm. children. If I went to the hospital, I left my other two. If I was here, I left her. Mm -hmm. it was, I had to choose between, and it was, it was hard. And then, you know, my son, he's only 10 months older. Than Kennedy, so it, I think it was hard on both of them as children, and they're little. And mm -hmm. They needed mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy couldn't be there completely, so it hurt yeah. them. Could, could you, um, either one or both of you, explain the care that she now needs? Um, she's on three machines: one that shows her heart rate and her oxygen level, one that helps suction out her airways and then one that gives her food and her medications. And then um, she can't be in large groups of people. She's prone to um, infections and sickness and it could re-hospitalize her. She has to be on the machines up to 20 hours a day. She gets four hours, but she gets to be a normal little baby. <laughs> As everyone can see, she gets to be a normal little baby. <laughs> And she has a birthmark on her nose? The birthmark developed actually a month and a half after birth. Ah. And then as it started to grow, they put medication to kind of help yeah. stunt its growth. And right. it will go away over time. Okay. It's nothing that will permanently there. Yeah. So that's okay. not even an issue. She has high blood pressure, so she's on blood pressure medication. Yeah. She has to be on medication for reflux and medication that helps empty out her stomach faster and medications that help decrease the amount of saliva buildup she gets in her mouth. So she has a long way to go yet? She has a long way to go. We're not even close to being able to sleep through the night, but we're yeah. at that, that one finish marker right. at right. our child's home. But and we get to bond with her right. and finally have our children together in our lives, get to start our lives, whether it be complicated or not. Every life's complicated, just ours is a little more complicated. Right. <laughs> Thank you.